Hi, it's Martin Ayres with Secret Golf here. Sticking with my theme of things that Elk was working on at Whistling Straits in 2010, the PGA Championship. I'm going to hit a power fade here. And I want to tie this in a little bit with some of the drills that I've been putting up on the Secret Golf site. One of those is talking about how we need direct action towards the ball. Similar to a swimmer going directly down the pool and they rotate around the line that they're swimming on. In golf, we don't really, I don't believe, need to turn off our line. We can just keep on a direct line at the ball. So to give you a visual of that for a straight shot, or to say hitting the ball at the bottom of my arc with a driver, I can go rehearse my waggle and go directly at the ball all the way. Now, if I'm going to hit a power fade, I'm going to sense myself being a little bit more wound ahead of the ball so that the ball's more on my right and I'm going to make that same action, but it's going to sense that I'm going more towards the front of the ball or just in front of the ball in my direct action. And that's going to have me moving on a slightly different tangent on, say, the arc of the swing. So as I get up to hit a power fade, first thing I'm going to do is guarantee that the club face is slightly open in my hands like I demonstrated Elk doing on his golf bag. So I've got the club face slightly open in my left hand. I'm going to set up down the left side. Ball on my left heel. And just to give me a little bit of insurance here, I'm going to get in just a little bit closer to the ball. Give me some insurance for a more low shot. I want to hit a power fade. I'm not going to try to make the ball curve with my swing. I've done that by where I am and the direction of my intent relative to the ball.